That is officially the 22nd of April, also meaning that it's Earth Day. Wow, who would have thought about that? Let me change these colors real fast. Um, I can't speak a lot about ecosystem stuff in Earth Day because I don't know a heck of a lot, but I do know a few things. And the things that I know, I know that we need to save the Earth in most ways because we are not doing a fantastic job with recycling and other kinds of things like that. I mean, I know we're doing good jobs with recycling, but we're not doing great jobs keeping up the practices. All I'm saying is that we need to clean up different spaces that we never thought we'd need to clean. The ocean kind of makes sense, but there are different ecosystems that really do need more care. I think I finally got the angle I want. Uh, that light always seems to be blocking me. Uh, I guess I'm blocking it. Yeah, my hair's good. Anyways, it's also Jelly Bean Day. Can you believe that? Yeah, like, the Jelly Bean itself. Not Jelly Bean counters this time, because they were a different holiday day. They, they had a holiday as well. But jelly beans are, um, the actual candy that you have, I think, they were made this day, or something like that, but they might have been recognized on April 22nd. I don't think they were made on the 22nd of April. Then again, I might just have to go back and do some more research. So go to HolidayInsights.com and I'm sure they'll tell you. Finally, we know that April is Girl Scout Appreciation Month, if I haven't said that before already, I'm pretty sure I have. But Girl Scout Appreciation Month leads up to Girl Scout Leader Day which is actually today, on April 22nd. I didn't think about that one either to even be a holiday, since there's so many Girl Scout, Boy Scout things that I can see throughout the calendar. There's like five or six of those holidays, but today is specifically about the leadership qualities that you can get while you're a Girl Scout, or honestly, any kind of Scout, but Girl Scout specifically. The 23rd is English Muffin Day, National English Muffin Day at that. Probably more an England holiday than an American holiday, but here we are with it being national in America, so I don't Oh, um, I guess just find an English muffin and enjoy it. I love breakfast muffins, they're really good. I don't do blueberries though, blueberry muffins are just not my, uh, blue blueberries and me don't go together. Also, for some weird reason, it's Lover's Day on, uh, the 23rd. I don't even know how this holiday came into proportion, but it's a day where you just ask someone out and it's just about it. Do what lovers do, uh, <laughs> send your lover an old-fashioned letter. So you gotta write to them rather than text them. Actually, that does work with pen pals. I don't really know, but on the brightest of bright sides, we have another holiday about love. It's also National Zucchini Bread Day. Zucchini bread as in the, the fruit that you make. No, it's not even a fruit, it's a vegetable. My, my point being, it's something that you make when you're not sick of zucchini because the crop isn't really in effect in the spring. Actually, I don't know that either, I'm not really a farmer, but my point in saying all of that is there's such thing as zucchini bread, which is the gluten mix of zucchini. <laughs> I, I'm so surprised that the world, like, this is probably something that so many people have to just endure eating. And I've eaten zucchini before, it's not the tastiest of vegetables, but it's pretty good, by the way. Just Google searched it. Zucchini is a fruit by its own nature. It's an immature fruit because it has seeds in it. But it's considered a vegetable. Yeah. This is going nowhere. I, I see stuff where it's saying this is zucchini. And I'm just like, no, maybe look at the difference between a fruit and a vegetable for like no reason other than the fact that we're still looking at holidays. I suggest you go do that. I'm Holiday after next is Take a Chance Day. You just want to go ahead and say whatever you can and say it loud and proud because you're taking a chance. If you want to go and buy some water and take today, I'm pretty sure that's also kind of good. There's also a World Laboratory Day. The very lab scientists day is kind of good day. There's also really more about the lab setup you have. So all the details and things that you see in the comments. I'm kind of just throw that to the side because we're talking about the real lab stuff. I, I have no idea what that means either. But probably just more engineering the first stuff that you have. Every time I feel like it's people in the blanket room, but I don't know that I can find the kind of insights when they go to the other one of the world national security. So, I don't know this, and I wonder if anyone else has done this, but picking a blanket is a sausage drop in the pancake, and it's usually the day we make this food. Wow. Okay, go on and celebrate that by wrapping the sausage inside of a pancake and then eating it. That actually sounds like a breakfast item. I might have had that before. It's National Skipping Day, as in skipping jump rope. Just find any kind of jump rope you can find in your local gym and just kind of jump rope for joy. I actually love jump roping. I haven't done that a lot, but it's pretty fun. Uh, then it's also 
I can't even say the full name without like memorizing it. World Tolerance Day for people so we all get together. No, that's not it. The official title, let me look it up actually. Action Day for Tolerance. Action Day for Tolerance and Respect Between People. That's what the full day is. It's a Remembrance Day across pretty much the entire world for World War II. And even though it might not be heavily celebrated, there are definitely remembrance graves, zones that you can go visit. Because a lot of people lost a lot of relatives and we're still feeling the effects about 80, 85 years after that war. So, yeah. But it's also a day where we can move forward in this piece and figure out the best ways to be more humanly to each other. I mean, the whole point is to earn human rights, but if we're not going to respect those rights, why get them in the first place? And finally, I've been seeing it on YouTube. You've probably have too on the official YouTube website page, like youtubechannel.com inside of YouTube. It's Fashion Revolution Day on the 24th. And um, yeah, it sure is because I've been seeing the most creative outfits by some of tons of different people. By tons of different people. And I've been seeing different outfits because they've also been transitioning in between whatever the YouTube channel is trying to get at the algorithm. But I mean, it's really just more style and eccentricness. It's, it's pretty fun to see all that kind of stuff. So. I guess you find different ways to celebrate this holiday by checking out my holidayinsights.com. Do me a favor and go ahead and go to that website now. April 25th is East Meets West Day, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of a joke that I just heard from my father uh, a couple days ago, and it's, it's less of a joke and more of a like, oh wow, that's right. So if you continue to go north on this planet, like you're just walking, and let's say you can walk on water, so you just keep walking forward, keep walking forward, and you don't have any energy to burn. You just keep walking forward, you keep going north. You're eventually going to end up going south, if that makes sense, because of the poles, right? But if you go east, you will never go west. Ever. Like, it, it, think about the globe circling, and think about you walking only to the left, the left never ends up becoming the right, but up always eventually comes down. You don't just walk off the planet. Isn't that incredible? Because you'd think that going left eventually makes you go right, but it doesn't. You just keep going left. And you keep going right. And when you go up on the planet, you eventually go back down. And when you go north on the planet, you eventually go back down. It's one of those things where it shouldn't make sense, but it does. And finally, for April 25th, it's a little bit of a Oh, did I just say 15th? I say 15th. I'm not getting my birds right. I don't think I'm going to be right with that. But in total seriousness, it's Penguin Day and Penguin Awareness Day. And I just messed up the birds. That's not as right well as I thought I was. But it's about keeping sure and safe quality that penguin birds, I guess, in the right habitat, and they're not just locked up all together in the zoo. You know that. Over the remote and ice and global warming kind of changing all that. The global cooling is kind of balancing all that too. I've been seeing a lot about penguins and I'm sure you know what's happening. But, um, yeah, you can definitely go see some more movies that go to the zoo and stuff because every time you go to the zoo, you can have a good day. Actually, you could do that for the rest of the East idea. You can just go to the zoo. It sounds really fun. 